Hi, this is Bill Griggs from the cncroutertips.com website. Today I'm going to show you how to do a very simple project in vCarve Pro, and I'll be using the vCarve Pro Trial Edition. One of the members of our private Facebook group, hashtag cncroutertips, uh, ask a question about a basic question about getting started with the vCarve Pro demo. In their question they ask how to make a oval shape uh, 100 by 200 millimeters. So it's a fairly simple process. Open up an, a session of vCarve Pro and click on create a new file. Okay now since they specified that they wanted to make a project in millimeters one of the first things we do is make sure we check this units box and switch from inches to millimeters and now we know that we're going to go back up to the top and we have to make our material size larger than the largest dimension they said uh, they wanted a 100 by 200 millimeter um, ellipse and so I'm going to make this board 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters. Okay, and I'm going to make it um, 25 millimeters thick. I, I don't know how thick the material they want to use, but they can uh, adjust that. I'm going to hit OK. So we've got our basic board here. So, in order to make an ellipse, you come over here and we select the Draw Ellipse tool. And we can either click on it once and open up this window, and it asks for the size. Now, I'm assuming that they would want the width to be the large dimension, 200 millimeters, and the height to be the short dimension, 100 millimeters. And if I just click Create, it creates that object down in the bottom corner where we had the zero zero um, which is not really where we want it but we're gonna I'll show you how to work with that so we would close that and we click on this new vector that it created and we can use the alignment tools which are right over here under the transform objects click that and we select align to material. Now if we click this one it's going to align it between um, somewhere in the, in the middle of this board but where it's in its current location. So if you watch it move you'll see it just moved it to the center of the board but it kept the height the same. I'm going to hit undo. Now if you would used this button it would move it up into the middle of the material but it'd still keep it in the same X location so we don't want that what we do want is this one which centers it in the material so that's basically all they had this is the exactly what they wanted. It's an ellipse 100 by 200. Now with this ellipse they can do things like add text, click, clicking the text box and um, they can add text to this. And we can change the size of that text to be 25 millimeter. We can select that text and we can either drag it using this center button or we can use those alignment tools again which are our friend and it puts it right in the middle. Okay, And there are a lot of things you can do with the text um, later on that we'll show you in another video like um, editing the spacing and the curve of this uh, letter.
things like that. But we'll save those for another video. If you would like uh, to ask a question and have it answered, um, you can go to our um, SpeakPipe page, which is www.speakpipe.com slash CNC router tips and you can leave a voicemail asking your question. You'll have 90 seconds to ask um, one question and we limit it to one question per recording. If you don't like the way it sounds you can stop and do it all over again and just submit the one question that you have that's right. So again that's speakpipe dot com slash CNC router tips. Now if you'd like to get your own copy of VCARV Pro 8 to uh, test out, you can install a demo uh, by clicking on the link uh, below and it will take you to a page where you can download a trial version of VCARV Pro. Thanks for your time. This is Bill Griggs from CNC Router Tips. Please give us a thumbs up on YouTube, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter. Thanks.